Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel I'd Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing you my marked as to read video for March 2016. <music> marked as to read video is just a video where I let you guys know all the books that I have marked as to read since my previous video. So since my last video I have marked a total of 16 more books as to read on Goodreads because I really seriously have a problem. But let's go into it and discuss the 16 books that I have marked as to read. The first book that I have to mention is Those Girls by Lauren Saft. This is a book that I actually saw on kind of the recommendation section on Goodreads and it sounded really interesting. Um, it involves three girls who are best friends um, and I think it just kind of deals with those three different girls and them as individuals and them as friends and I find those kind of books about friendship, I love those kind of books. I find them really really interesting um, so this is definitely one that I want to check out. The next book that I have to mention is The Outliers by Kimberly McCreet. This is a book that I actually saw on Elizabeth from Elizabeth Book Babble's channel on her Pass or Pick Up video. Um, it sounded really, really interesting. I believe it follows a girl who has a best friend who is always kind of spiraling out of control and she receives a text message from her asking for her help um, and she of course agrees to help. but. Instead of um, her telling her where she is, she kind of gets these cryptic clues over this text message about where to go and how to help her friend. And a guy turns up and says that he's been told to help her as well, but he is a guy who I think has caused a lot of problems for her friend. She's not sure who to trust. And she's trying to help her friend. And it just sounds really, really interesting. Um, I have heard good things about Kimberly McCreet's, um, some of her previous books. Um, I haven't read anything by her, I don't think, but I am definitely, this one sounded really interested, interesting and I'm hoping to pick it up. The next book I marked as to read is a book that we have all seen around on booktube a lot recently and that is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Until recently I'd never read anything by Rochelle Mead but I have recently picked up her Vampire Academy series and I'm really really enjoying it and I really really do enjoy Rochelle Mead's writing style. Um, and this new book coming out by her which I believe is the first book in a new series sounds really really interesting. It um, I believe follows a girl whose father is trying to marry her off. To someone and she doesn't want to do that so I believe she poses as someone who's like impoverished or whatever to get in with this group of girls like at kind of a, a finishing school to be taught to be a proper lady um, it just sounds really interesting and as I said I really do enjoy Rochelle Mead's um, writing style so I will definitely probably be checking this out at some point after it comes out the next book that I have to talk about I actually saw on Tiffany from About to Read's channel. I believe it was on her March Most Anticipated video and that is Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tujolke. I'm sorry I'm not sure how to pronounce her surname. I have absolutely no idea how to describe this book to you guys so I'm just going to read a few snippets from the Goodreads synopsis for you guys. Every story needs a hero. Every story needs a villain. Every story needs a secret. Wink is the odd, mysterious neighbor girl, wild red hair and freckles. Poppy is the blonde bully and the beautiful, manipulative high school queen bee. Midnight is the sweet, uncertain boy caught between them. Wink, Poppy, Midnight. Two girls, one boy. What really happened? Someone knows. Someone is lying. It just sounded really, really interesting to me. Um, I haven't read anything by this author before, so I don't really know what her writing style is like or anything like that, but um, the story itself just sounds really interesting, so I definitely hope to check it out at some point in the future. The next book that I have to talk about is one that I saw on um, Lala from Books and Lala's February wrap-up, and that is Girls on Fire by Robin Wasserman. I have no idea what this is about, but it has one of my absolute buzzwords, and that is toxic friendship. That is all I know about it and that is all I need to know. I immediately marked it as to read just knowing that it was a YA story dealing with toxic friendship. Um, I believe between two girls, um, that is one of my favourite things to read about. So I'm really excited to check this one out. The next book I have to mention is one that I actually saw someone, I'm not sure who it was, mark it as five stars on Goodreads. And they described it as being one of the sexiest romances they had read in ages. Um, and that just really intrigued me. Um, and so I marked it as to read. Um, I believe this follows a girl who um, her best friend was shamed by some boys from a nearby college or something like that. And she decides to kind of try and get revenge on them. I don't know too much about it apart from that. Um, but I was intrigued just by that short little sentence that I saw on Goodreads and the fact that it was marked as five stars. So I did mark it as to read. 
The next book I marked as to read is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. This is a book that sounds really, really interesting. I believe it is set in a Russian-esque fantasy world and it deals with two um, like sorcerers, like two magical sorcerers who have to compete in a battle um, to the death. Um, but they, I believe, fall in love um, and it just sounds really, really interesting. The setting sounds really, really great um, and is definitely something that I want to check out. The next book that I have to talk about is a book that I actually saw on Ashley from Tea Leaves and Bookbindings channel. It was on a video where she was talking about her most anticipated releases from January through April. And this one has a really, really interesting title. It's called Exit Pursued by a Bear by E.K. Johnston. And this is a book that deals with a subject matter that I find really interesting, which is rape. I believe this deals with a girl who is captain of the cheerleading squad who is raped and falls pregnant from that rape and... It just kind of deals with that as far as I know. It sounds really, really interesting. Um, the title, I don't get how that's going to play into the story, but I find that really intriguing just in and of itself. And this just sounds really great. And I actually really do enjoy the cover as well. The next book I marked as to read is Wake by Avria Matina. This is a book that I saw on Jude's channel where she was talking about her all-time favorite books. I really don't know anything about it, but just the fact that it was a book I hadn't heard of and it's one of her all-time favorite books was enough for me to want to check it out. The next book I have to talk about is Risk by Fleur Ferris. This is a book that I saw on Kirsty from Melbourne on My Minds channel. Um, it was one of her weekly wrap-ups and it is a book that is actually by an Australian author so that is really great and I believe it deals with two girls who are best friends and one of them um, tells her friend that she's like meeting up with this guy and not to kind of like to cover for her with her mother and then her best friend doesn't come home and she waits a little while not sure whether her friend like you know what's happening she doesn't want to like turn her friend in for lying but then a couple of days goes past and she I believe has to tell her friend's mother that her friend was meeting up with this guy and like her friend has possibly been abducted and it just sounded really interesting um and the fact it's by an Australian author um I just really wanted to check this one out the next book I have to mention is The Fever by Megan Abbott this is a book that I actually saw on Kayla from Kayla Rain's channel in her monthly recommendations for standalone books um I don't know too much about what this one is about but she made it sound really interesting all I know about it is that it deals with a an outbreak of some kind of disease or contagion something like that and that's really all I know but it sounded really great and the way Kayla talked about it made it sound really interesting and she was obviously recommending it so it is definitely something I want to check out in the future. The next book I marked us to read is My Sister Rosa by Justine La Ballaste. I'm sorry I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly either. This is a book that I saw on um, Katrina from Little Book Owls channel in both her haul and wrap up and she made it sound really really interesting. I believe again that this is by an Australian author and it deals with um, a boy who is living in America with his family but he believes his sister to be a psychopath and his parents don't really know, seem to notice that his sister is a psychopath and it's about him kind of trying to limit the damage that his sister can do I believe it sounds really really interesting I also understand that this book is actually quite hard to get a hold of outside I don't think it's been published yet maybe outside of Australia um, it just sounds really really interesting um, and it's definitely something I want to check out the next book I marked as to read is After the Woods by Kim Savage. This is a book that I saw in Kristen from Super Space Chicks February book haul and it sounded really, really interesting. It is about two girls who are best friends and they are in the woods one day and they are attacked by someone and one of the friends kind of fends him off and tells the other friend to run and she does and the other girl is trapped in the woods kind of with this person for 48 hours the girl who ran, it's been a while and she's become very self-destructive and then someone turns up dead in the woods in the same area that all this went down. It just sounds really, really interesting um, and definitely the kind of book that I will enjoy. Um, so I definitely look forward to picking that up at some point in the future. The next book I have to talk about is one I saw um, on Karis from Karis on Reading's February book haul. Um, it's called Those Girls by Chevy Stevens. This is a book that is, I believe, an emotional thriller and it follows three sisters who I believe have an abusive father and they try to escape the father and they like break down in like a small town and things get even worse for them in this small town. I don't really know too much about it apart from that, but it sounds really interesting. Definitely something I will enjoy. 
The next book I have to talk about is The Girl with a Clock for a Heart by Peter Swanson. I actually read a book by Peter Swanson in March, another book, and I really enjoyed it. And so this is the only other book that he's published. And so I decided that I wanted to check it out. So I marked it as to read. This is a book that I believe follows a guy who was dating this girl and they were really like in love or whatever when he was younger. And then he was very... Um, distressed to learn that she had committed suicide and I believe I'm not sure if it happens right then or if it's several years later he somehow gets in touch with the family and he goes to the house and sees pictures of the girl and realizes that it is not the girl that he was dating I don't know too much about it apart from that but that sounds pretty friggin intriguing so I definitely want to check this one out because as I said I really did um enjoy Peter Swanson's other book which was called The Kind Worth Killing and the final book I have to mention is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is a book I've seen going around booktube a little bit in the past little while and it sounds really, really interesting. It follows a boy who is repeatedly abducted by aliens and I believe they tell him that the world is going to end but that he can save the world by hitting this big red button but he is not sure whether he wants to save the world, if the world is worth saving. And that is a really, really interesting concept. I'm not sure how it's going to work with this whole kind of science fiction-y thing with the aliens in what sounds like kind of a contemporary setting. I'm not sure, but it sounds really, really interesting and I definitely look forward to checking it out at some point in the future. So those are the 16 books that I have marked as to read over the past month or so. Um, I love letting you guys know and talking about all these really interesting books. I don't know, as always, when I'll get to most of these books, although interestingly enough, I have actually purchased two of these books that I mentioned in this video. So stay tuned for my March book haul to see which two I bought. Um, please let me know if you have any thoughts about any of these books or any great books that you marked as to read recently. I would love to chat to you guys in the comments below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye guys!